the 16 Indian sailors, who had sent out an source following their detention in Equatorial Guinea, have been taken to a hotel in the country's capital Malabo. The 16, all crews of Norway's heroic Idun vessel, will not be extradited to Nigeria immediately following India's diplomatic intervention. 26 sailors on board the ship, including 16 Indians, were detained by Equatorial Guinea allegedly for crossing their sea boundaries. The crew was taken into custody on the advice of Nigeria's Defense Department. Seeking help, the empty heroic Idun's chief commander, Sanu Jose, had earlier said on video, the ship is detained in the Marshall Islands and we are not supposed to sail. It is an act of piracy if they take the vessel to Nigeria forcefully. We need the help of the central government. Groups in an earlier statement, the owner of the ship said that they had handed over a ransom amount for the release of its crew members and the ship but the Guinean Navy decided to continue with the detention. On November 9, the sailors sent out an source message to the Indian government after over 80 days of being in detention and also informed it about the move to hand over all the detained sailors to Nigeria. In two videos of over 50 seconds, the sailors appealed to the Indian government to rescue them. We don't know when we'll be able to talk to our families after this. Please save us, the sailors, in tears, are heard saying in the video. Anti-hijab protests intensify Third Officer Roshan Arora appealed to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Foreign Ministry to intervene and rescue them. We just received information that we will be taken to Nigeria. Please help us. I appeal to PM Modi and the Foreign Ministry for help. They are detaining us illegally and are now taking us forcefully to Nigeria. Our mobile phones will be taken away and we don't know when we will be able to contact again, Aurora said. The crew, including the 16 Indians, were seen holding the national flag and placards that read, Save Us.